Welcome everyone, I am James West. This is the Lion's Den Academy, and today is day 31 of the Chosen Daily Devotional, which is titled Power. Today's message comes from Ephesians chapter 1, verse 21, which reads, Christ is far above all rule and authority, power and dominion, and every name that is invoked, not only in the present age, but also in the one to come. Nicodemus and his Sanhedrin colleagues were the political and religious rule makers and enforcers of their day. They doled out a dizzying mess of statutes down to the most impossible-to-follow legalistic minutia. They were especially fond of legislating Sabbath observances, purity, and tithing laws. Of course, the Pharisees created all kinds of loopholes for themselves. They deemed the mutable oral law to be equally binding as the written one. In other words, they could change or follow a law however and whenever they saw fit. Consequently, this group of rule-maker breakers was thought by the people to be high-handed, hypocritical zealots. Their shameless arrogance provoked resentment and fear-based obedience. They were essentially fancy bullies. As far as he was concerned, Nicodemus deserved the glory he got. After all, his command of scripture, religious training, prominence in the community, and the power to throw folks in jail for, say, fishing on the Sabbath, mandated it. And who would dare question him? What common man was more powerful than he? Nicodemus discovered the answers to those questions when he met Jesus. Jesus Jesus didn't look very important. He didn't adorn himself with elaborate garments, phylacteries, and long tassels the way that the Pharisees did, nor did he brandish a list of credentials and demand difference. Yet his power defied and preempted all systems of institutional, institutional hierarchy. His otherworldly authority was dispensed with compassion and grace. It was undeniable. Jesus cast out demons and did miracles, and Nicodemus was among the few men of power who knew what that meant. Jesus was sent by God. And although his presence threatened Nicodemus's position, power, and livelihood, it beckoned his heart and compelled him to risk all that he'd built. In Jesus, he found real truth and power, not the religious invention that he was a part of. He found the Word. It had been made flesh and was dwelling among them. The body of scripture that Nicodemus had dedicated his entire life to knowing knew him by name. He found the hope to which he had been called, and it was beyond powerful. And with that being said, let's turn to prayer over today's devotional. Dear Heavenly Father, um, today we come to you repenting of any times that we have have valued status and and things of this world and and our credentials um, over relationship and humility towards you and and understanding that it all comes from you and it is all all for you, Lord. Um, And Lord, we just ask that you today bring us to our knees in humility um, with gratitude, awe, and and worship, just to to worship exactly the the all-powerful, beautiful, loving God that you are, Father. Um, And Lord, today we just thank you so much that you are in relationship with us and that you provide this way for us to to connect and commune with you, Lord. And we pray this in your holy name. Amen. And with that, we will wrap up today's video. As always, I hope that you found it helped you to bring you a little bit closer to God each day here. Um, As always, we just ask that you leave a like and a comment to help the YouTube algorithm push this content to others that might need that daily dose of God in their life as well. Um, But I look forward to seeing you in tomorrow's video. God bless and keep you.